In this tutorial, let's take a look at this demo scene here, the first one, which has animated constraints, cloth to soft. And let's open the scene. And there we go. So first, this is a cloth animation, and then to a soft body animation. And then again to the cloth. So in this tutorial, we'll see how we can work on a scene like this. Here's a Suzanne mesh with two levels of subdivision applied. And let's apply the modifier. And let's right click and shade smooth. Now first, let's head to the prepare tab of the fracture module. And here, under soft bodies, let's uh, create chunks by selecting fill objects tab. And here, as we can see that a lot of uh, chunks have been created. And here we can select cubes or uh, spheres. So in this case, let's select spheres. And the principle is going to be the same. Now we have to ensure that there is no gap between these chunks uh, in order to have a perfect neighbor calculations applied. So let's reduce the particle separation here. And let's just ensure that we close this gap here as well. And there we go. I think this looks good. Now let's click on show originals. And here's our original mesh. And these are all the chunks that are touching each other. So with the voxel size at 0 0.1 and particle size at 1 and particle separation at 0.148, let's apply all. And we have a total instances of 612. There we go. Now, when we apply, the RBD and physics have already been applied here. Uh, let's add a ground. We can add a ground using this um, option here or by clicking the plus here. And we can hide it. Now, if we go to RBD, as we can see, when we hit apply all um, under the fracture, the RBD has already been applied. So we don't need to redo the RBD here. So let's directly head to constraints. Now here we have the source collection as Suzanne Low. And that's representing the chunks that were created here. And let's head to the source filter as collections. And with the type as soft constraint. And let's click on limit constraints. And let's change this to 5. And with the between chunk selected, let's create a constraint group. Let's take a look. And these are the constraints. Looks good. Now here, we have the constraint setting options here. So with the presets, we'll select soft body preset. Let's click on soft body. And these are the presets. And let's disable the collisions for faster calculations. And let's click on update. And let's take a look. There we go. Looks good. Now let's head to the Metalsoft module and let's create Mesh Deform. And here under Original Collection, let's select Original Suzanne. And Let's see how it looks. And there we go. That's the mesh. And here, we can actually increase the smooth surface just a little bit. And let's take a look. And there we go. That's the soft body animation. And these are the parameters uh, which are required for smoothing the surface. Smooth mask threshold, smooth mask blur smooth surface, and smooth shader angle. There you go. So this looks good. Now let's um, switch back to the chunks. And let's add one more constraint group. So let's head to create. And here, again, let's limit the constraints to five and between chunks. Let's click on create constraint group. 
and on this group let's work this one as a clot so let's click on clot and let's um, deselect the soft Suzanne for now and let's work on clot and here let's uh, click on clot preset for the constraint settings and under limit linear distance, let's just increase this to 0 0.05. This works better. And let's disable collisions as well for faster calculations. And let's click on update. There we go. So now let's see how the clot settings behave. There we go. Looks good. Now let's click on the actual mesh and let's take a look. There you go. So this is with the cloth constraint settings. Now we can actually animate this between soft body and cloth as well. So let's head to, so let's first click on the chunks and let's head to the animation tab. Let's uh, toggle both of these on. Under animation tab, we have switch constraints by group. And under this, let's click on switcher between groups. And here, let's say we would like to first animate this as a soft body. And then we would like to disable it at a particular frame. And then we would like to enable cloth at a particular frame. Let's say frame 60, for example. So at frame 60, we're switching the soft constraint settings to the cloth constraint settings. And that's what we're doing here. Let's click on OK. And let's uh, switch to the mesh. And let's take a look. So here's the soft body. And there we go. Here's the cloth. And we can actually add one more uh, group here for the animation. And for that, let's say switcher. And let's delete these two options. And here, first we'll select cloth and then we'll enable to disable the cloth and then we would like to introduce the soft body and we'll have disable to enable and let's say we would like to do this at frame 120. Let's click on OK and let's switch to mesh. Now first it's going to be soft body and then cloth and at frame 120 switch back to soft body as well. So that's how we can create these beautiful animations of soft bodies. And once we are happy with the animation, we can click on this icon here to current cache to bake. And actually before doing that, let's uh, delete it here and let's do up to 180 frames. And then let's Play the animation first. And there we go. So now let's click on current cache to bake. And then we can save. Hope you like this tutorial. Thank you and stay tuned for more tutorials.